Hi guys, welcome. My name is Nani and I'm the designer of the Sticky Note widget. I'm basically creating this video because I wanted to explain how the widget works, all the stream elements feels, Twitch channel rewards, everything. So let's get into it. So we're now on stream elements and this is pretty much what you're going to see when you first install it using the link. Uh, it basically creates a new overlay on your stream elements library and imports the widget. On the left side, you can see all the fields. Uh, this is how we like to group everything so it's easier for you to navigate. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So how this works is your viewers can basically send you messages using Twitch channel points. And as a streamer, you can also create your own announcements by using commands, but commands is only for the streamer. So this is how the sticky notes work. They have cute little animations and you can pick colors for each role. Uh, you can also pin your own, like I mentioned. And when this happens, that message will basically be stuck to the top and all the new messages will come below it. Okay, let's go over the stream elements field so you can better understand the widget. But let's start with settings and layout. You can basically do a list layout, which is the one I showed in the beginning. All the sticky notes will basically go below it. Uh, or you can do stack mode. I like to add a little bit more of rotation to this one, but this is how it looks. All the messages will stack on top of each other. And when you have a pin, it will stack below. Here you have a bunch of adjustments. You can adjust the scaling to make it bigger or smaller, message font size, and also the number of sticky notes, but only on list mode. Here we have the timings. Uh, you can customize the fade out timing. So basically when I create a sticky note after 10 seconds, it's going to disappear. You can also customize how long you want your streamer announcements to stay on screen. If you want it to always stay on screen and never disappear, you just put it to zero, but maybe you want it to disappear after 30 minutes or so. So you can customize this as you wish. Same goes for the pin message rewards and the first pin message of the day, which you can toggle here if you want the first message reward you have on your stream to be pinned. Before explaining channel rewards, let's go over colors and styling. Here's where you can customize the shifting and rotation of the messages. Uh, let's try a really crazy value so I can show you. You can see that they rotate a lot. I feel like this is a cooler setting if you want to do stack mode. But yeah, this is pretty much how it works. Here on the bottom is where you're going to find all the fields for colors and uh, role labels. Starting with the label, uh, this is a little tag that shows up uh, on top of the message. Let me show you. So this one says VIP, which is obviously for VIP uh, viewers, but each role has their own. In the color menu, you can find 20 color modes. Uh, they're all pre-made and you have light and dark modes. But if you want a very specific custom color, uh, we created a little hue shift field for you to try. So a little disclaimer, the colors won't come out exactly like my design because I'm using a lot of tones and shadows and highlights. There's like a lot of different colors uh, that I'm using per theme. So it was a little bit hard to convey that in code, but let's try, let me show you how it looks. So for example, I want, let's do the, the like orange or something. So let's test it. Let's see if we can get one because this is random. Okay, so this is how it looks. It looks pretty close to mine. So if if you if you can't find a color that you like on these twenty color options, then you can you know go to custom color and create your own. If you scroll down, this is our last little surprise. We created an extra role called the love list. This is basically where you can add, we call the besties, where you can add, you know, close friends, your favorite viewers, like anyone that you want. And they will also have their own color. And here's how you add their names. You just like type username separated by commas. Let's go over some commands now. There's only three of them. They're also fully customizable. Exclamation mark pin is for the streamer only. Viewers can't use it. It's for when streamers want to do their announcements. So exclamation mark pin, for example, subathon next week. So you see that I created a subathon next week announcement. If you want to unpin it, you do exclamation mark and pin and it unpinned and it will disappear after 10 seconds 
and the clear is if you have a lot of messages and you want to clear everything just do exclamation mark clear and they will disappear okay let's talk about channel rewards now since it's what makes everything work here on the channel uh, reward menu you can find all the fields to customize it uh, let's start with the sticky note reward name this is pretty much the name you're gonna give the normal reward where viewers are gonna send message you can see on mine it says send a message which is the exact same they need to be the exact same otherwise this is not gonna work down below you have the pin sticky note reward so this is a little bit different than the initial one this is a dynamic reward viewers can basically send messages that are gonna stay pinned but this only shows up on your list if you already don't have a streamer announcement pinned. So if you have something pinned already, you know, saying Subathon this Friday or something else, uh, this reward is not going to show up on your list. So now I don't have anything pinned, so you can see that it shows here, pin your message. But if I do, for example, pin hello you will see that the reward basically disappeared from my list. Once I do unpin, the reward is back on the list. Here there is. So this reward is special, so it needs to be customized on stream elements and not on the normal uh, reward dashboard on Twitch. Uh, you will need to add the name, description uh the cost and the color here and then hit create so this will basically create the reward on your list i would totally advise making this reward a little bit expensive more expensive than the other because it's something special that only spawns sometimes and lastly we have audio this is basically just a cute little sound effect for when the messages pop up it sounds like this uh you can remove it and add your own sound and also control the volume and that was pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and explanation on how the widget works if you end up getting it i hope you and your streamer enjoy it and if you have any questions feel free to stop by discord thank you so much for watching bye